Japanese Cheesecake Recipe in Cups If you have tried whole Japanese cotton cheesecake, you might know how difficult to make it just like a picture of the recipe. It often doesn't end up how I hope they would, even if I completely follow the recipes. I think this is because slight temperature differences of home ovens easily affect how to bake the whole cheesecake. So you may need to adjust your oven temperature to strive for the beautiful look of the whole cotton cheesecake. Also, there are many preparations needed before put it in the oven. On the other hand, making cotton cheesecake cups is much easier, quicker, and more simple recipe. But it's the same taste and texture. They are just smaller in size. A whole Japanese cotton cheesecake can be a good choice for special occasions. But if you're planning more casual desserts, you might want to try my Japanese cotton cheesecake cups. This recipe makes 12 mini cotton cheesecake with a normal sized muffin pan. How to make Japanese cotton cheesecake cups Firstly, I will specify why cotton cheesecake cups are quicker to make than a whole cotton cheesecake. Basic instructions are same, but you can skip the steps below. Unnecessary steps Cut parchment paper Coat the pan and the parchment paper with oil. Dust powdered sugar over the parchment paper. Cover the bottom of the pan to avoid leaking in the water bath. When you make a whole cotton cheesecake, you should prepare the parchment paper. Then grease the pan and the parchment paper with oil. In addition, dust powdered sugar over the parchment paper to rise the cheesecake smoothly in the oven. In the case of mini cheesecakes, all you have to do is line the muffin pan with cupcake liners. Ingredients It's only required 6 ingredients Cream cheese Cream, around 30% fat Flour, gluten-free or other white flour Brief instructions Melt cream cheese with cream in a pan over a low heat. Once the cream cheese melted, transfer to a bowl and add sugar. Set aside to cool down. Beat egg whites until soft peaks. Set aside. Add egg yolks, lemon juice and flour to the cream cheese mixture and blend. Mix egg yolk mixture and egg white together. Pour the mixture into the liners and bake for 20 minutes in hot water bath. I love to eat both when it's warm and cold. When you eat them still warm, you can enjoy the super fluffy texture along with the fizzy and bubbly sounds in your mouth. I brushed an apricot preserve on top. But also whipped cream and blueberry sauce would be nice to serve with the cheesecake.